there, in this video we are going to build this FPV drone from scratch to all the way to fly. I hope you will going to enjoy this video. So let's go through the build process. First we need a frame and generally it's made of carbon fiber. I am using over frequency 220 frame at this time. Let's talk about motors. I am using T motor Pacer 2207-1750KV motor. You might think what is the meaning of these numbers? Well, for better understanding we need to open the motor and look at the stator. The first two numbers are representing the diameter of the stator and last two numbers representing the height of the stator. But what is KV ratings? 1750 KV means if we apply one fold to the motor then it will rotate 1750 times per minute and 1750 KV is suitable for 6S batteries. To control the motor we need ESC and this is a quadcopter so we need 4 of them. But nowadays we use 4 in 1 ESC which is more compact and durable. And I am using T Motor Velox 50 Ampere ESC at this time. You need to solder the motor wires and don't forget to install the capacitor. I am using T Motor Pesar F7 flight controller. Basically, a flight controller is the brain of a drone. Every electronics are connected to it. You can use any modern flight controller, the connections are similar. Let me tell you how I connect the flight controller to the ESC. You can see the connection points on the flight controller as well as on the ESC. For better understanding, I made a diagram. Here GND is ground, VWAT is battery voltage and M is motor signal. These are necessary pins that you have to connect with each other. Current sensor and telemetry are additional. If your device can support this, use it otherwise you can skip. Let's jump to the FPV video system. I am using Foxier Falcor 3 camera. I really like the video quality. And this is T-Motor FT800 VTX. Basically VTX transmits the video from camera and the video receiver on the goggles receives the signal and display it on the screen. Here I am using Crossfire Nano receiver cause I use Crossfire module on my transmitter. I followed this diagram to wire everything very accordingly. I highly recommend you to use wires as short as possible. Take your time and try to make it as clean as possible. The hardware is all set up. Now it requires some programming. I already made a video on that topic. You can go through the video, link in the description. It looks really nice and it's ready for the sky. some jello in my video. I changed some ESC settings and the problem got fixed. something from this video to get more do subscribe you can connect with me on instagram link in the description keep flying happy flying